Welcome to Smosh Mouth, you friggin' losers. I'm <laughs> okay. Shane. And I'm Amanda, and we have our biggest loser. No, I'm just <laughs> Wait. You well, set he did me lose something. Up. He did he, lose something. He lost was, something recently. I was saying the biggest loser is the tumor, not Keith. Uh, hey, Keith. That's Hi. right. I don't know how I feel about that intro. <laughs> I mean, the biggest loser, I have lost 10 pounds in the last, like, a week or wow. so. Yeah, but that was ten pounds of, of tumor. No, I don't think the tumor actually weighed that. I think it was the the the, the surgery. I was Ooh. I had a fever. I had you weren't like eating. A, oh, shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I couldn't eat for real. So I was eating a little bit, you know, mm. here and there. But for the first four days I had nothing to eat. Like oh my God. going down. They were liquids? Liquids. Oh IV. Liquid IV. IV for sure. They come on. They gave me some some liquid yeah. stuff. Yeah. But other than that I couldn't. I'm still eating soft foods. Um, trying to, I try to eat harder foods and it just doesn't set well. I have half a stomach, so. You have Ooh. half a stomach. Half a stomach. And? Okay, so half a stomach. I also have um, a part of, my whole spleen's gone. Woo! Whole Who spleen. needs it? Who needs it? I'll just take some shots, you know? Um, <laughs> uh, a piece of my pancreas is gone, a piece of it. And wow. then they took some of my colon. Oh yeah, wow. so like we got organs. Organs are missing. I, 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 I would be lying if I said I knew what any of them did. Okay, so so the, I don't know your stomach. So I'm like, you don't need <laughs> it. Your stomach holds stomach. food. Your stomach, and your I get. Colon. Uh, that's somewhat shit. Yeah, shit. Okay. And, and then like my uh, my pancreas. I'm not for real sure, but it's very important. But if they would have took more, I probably would have been a brittle diabetic. Um, but oh. my my spleen, we don't need that. So like you can just take some shots. It helps fight off viruses and stuff like that. Ooh. So all I have to do is take some shots. And I'm like, okay. I can do that. You can do oh, that. Yeah. I can do that. Great. So what are you, does it change what you eat now for, for your whole life? I don't think so necessarily, but like for, for the future going forward, I'm going to have to change, you know, like what I eat. Yeah. Um, softer foods. Like I'm not a guy who likes, um, like jello? peanut butter, but jello. I love jello. Oh. So don't speak for me. I just do not eat like jello. jello. You don't like jello? No. No, I like jello. I wasn't going to say that. You tried to finish my jello. sentence and You're you right. didn't. You're right. But I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. What? I don't like um, tuna and crackers. But right now, those have been my best Same. friends right now. Um, yeah, like as soon as I got out of the the hospital, uh, my mom's here in town right now. She's taking care of me. Shout out to my mom. Yeah, and yeah, mom Duke's out there. We see you, baby. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I love it. Um, uh, I wanted her to make some like home cooked meals, like some real heavy shit, and I could not eat them. Mm -mm. Uh, Brennan came over um, recently and took some pictures of me. I probably shouldn't have been doing that. Mm. And uh, my mom cooked for us, and it was a little heavy. And before I knew it, the food's just sitting right here because I eat fast. I eat like a cow, Ooh. and I don't realize how much I have actually put into my body until it's too late. Until I'm like, I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 So it's lighter foods from now. on. Lighter foods for for right now, for right now, from now on. From now on, for right now. Yeah. So <laughs> Ooh, now would you watch that for show? For right now. From now on. Yeah, I would. You would? It sounds like a soap opera. You see what yeah. I'm saying? From now, from on, now on. Right now. Oh. From now on. Days of our lives. Yes. Right now. From now on, right now. That that's like the hospital, a hospital TV. Oh. <laughs> so for some quick context, in case someone happens to not know, uh the past we were trying to gauge how long, three years, mm -hmm. you've been dealing with a cancerous tumor yes. in your body. Yes, I only knew for two of the years though. Um, it mm. could have been longer than three, who knows? Cause we don't know when it started growing. We don't know anything. We just knew when I got diagnosed, I think it was in April of 2020. Mm -hmm. I remember it was 20, it was, I thought it was 2020 that you started to talk about feeling some shit, but maybe Yeah, it was 2020 when I started feeling shit. Yep. Yeah. But 2021 is when I got diagnosed. Yep. In got April it. or so. What, what did you, you I was there. You were there, okay. I remember we were in the old space, yeah. and I remember you were talking to me about it, and we were very new with each other, mm -hmm. and I remember being like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. As we're like putting on Karen wigs, oh, I was yeah. like, <laughs> what? <laughs> we're putting on Karen wigs, we're both like wearing like, Capri outfits, and mm -hmm. you're talking to me about this, and I was like, I was a sexier Karen. By what the way. you were so much sexier. Oh, your I was Karen a was nasty unhinged. Karen. Thank you. I actually rewatched that video of us I have doing to watch Karen. It. 
That still has my. When uh, I talk my, about your braids, my favorite, my favorite Amanda quote might be when your wig fell off and you're like, and everyone's like uh, pl- trying to play around it, like, uh, and you're like, what? And then you just go, we can see your braids. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, god. It's carry. not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. It's exactly what it. Looks what does it look like? That you have braids. <laughs> 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 like pure Karen, you were still in it. I was so in Karen, mm-hmm. and then and then you kept falling asleep, and I'd be like, "There's vodka, <laughs> there's vodka." <gasps> oh, Karen, honey. Uh oh, honey, there's vodka. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> oh, I literally, I gotta watch you it. have to watch it because I rewatched it, and I was like, oh, "Memories, I don't even know." Mm. I was like blacked out in that character. Me too. I was drunk. <laughs> you were drunk in that character. As Karen, as Karen. And mm. yeah, you were telling me about it, and I was like. I don't even know. I don't even know what that is like. Cause like, what did you think that it was when you weren't feeling well? <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> okay, so I started having. So me and my my homeboys, we were about to like drink and like party for the night, and we ate some food, just getting our tummies ready, and I ended up having. I thought it was like heartburn or acid reflux. And I was like, yo, like, I'm getting older. I'm 29. I was 28, something like that. I'm like, yo, I'm feeling something right now. He's like, yo, take some Tums. So I took five Tums. And when I tell you I felt better, I was like, yo, let's go. And that would happen, like, that happened a few times. I wasn't taking care of my body, you know, yeah, in any yeah, capacity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that happened a few times, and the pain would go away. I'm like, man, Tums is like an all, like, it's a cure <laughs> to everything. Like, y'all better get y'all some Tums. I don't even have them anymore, you know, of course. But, like, when I tell you, it really, like, that's what I thought it was. I, and I wasn't going to get checkups or anything like that. All, all I knew is that the Tums were helping this cancer baby that I didn't know at the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Interesting. I remember, yeah, and then I, I remember you talking about it and being like, yeah, I've got some pain, like, mm-hmm. right here. Yep. And, and I know, like, people were like, oh, you should go check out the doctor. And you're mm-hmm. like, I know. Yeah. I will. It's um, hard to go to the doctor. Well, it was tough mm-hmm. in the middle of the, like, pandemic. So, like, so, of course this happens. But this was a thing. So we were doing, it was me, you, and Courtney. You, I forgot what characters you were playing, but we had a... Um, a boxing ring set up and I came yes. to set that day and I was like I'm in pain and I lifted up my shirt to Courtney I think you too and I was like yo can you tell that half of my stomach is like lifted up yeah. and she's like baby you need to go to the doctor <laughs> and I'm like yeah I know and then I think somehow the conversation got back to the director at the time Ryan Finnerty and before I knew it I'm talking to you guys I'm the last like shots of the day and I'm talking to you guys, but I'm rubbing my stomach and I'm just rubbing it deeply, trying to, you know, massage the pain out, but not realizing what I'm doing because I've gotten so used to the pain, but not. Yeah. And I'm rubbing myself and he's looking at me on the monitors and he's like, Keith, you gotta go to the doctor, like in front of everybody. And this is like a, a safe place. So yeah. it's like, fine, everybody's setting up lights. And I'm like, yeah. So he's like, all right, I need everybody on the floor right now. So I'm getting on the floor and I'm still massaging myself. And I'm like, oh, I'm wincing. He's like, no, everybody up. I said, well, I'm already down. He said, nope, you're in pain, Keith. We got to get you up. So I think after that, that day is when I ended up going to urgent care. I was not trying to see. I'm like, is it my liver? I drink a little bit. Is it this? Is it that? I, I honestly had no idea. But the doctor at urgent care straight up told me, she said, yo, that's not your liver. I was like, well, it's not my kidneys. Those are good. I said, all right, cool. So after that, it just, you know, they were like, you need to go get a CAT scan. So I went and got a CAT scan. And after I got the CAT scan, they hit me up and they were like, yo, so you have a 25 centimeter growth in your abdomen area. And I'm like, 25 centimeters, that's not big. No, that's that's big. You know, they finished my, that's not, no, that's big. So I, cha- I looked up centimeters into inches or whatever the hell, and it said almost 10 inches. <gasps> almost 10 inches. Oh and I'm just like, damn, God. that is a big You have a five inch tumor. It's very small. No, that sounds pretty big uh, to me. I'm like, <laughs> that sounds pretty freaking huge. Boner in your f- I'm like, abdomen. How did it get that you've there? just been massaging inches. for days. <laughs> I'm like, how did that, how did that boner get there? Because you've been massaging it. It's just in my tummy. You've been stroking it. <laughs> you've been stroking it and feeding I it hate, tums. Oh and my it keeps god! Getting harder and harder. Oh my! <laughs> I hate both of you. So ten inches, but it's probably like shaped like 
Did they ever say what shape a it was? P. Like, like it's, it's not a, it's it's not not a cylinder. You don't have a cucumber no, in your so body. No, so remember it's at like the at one point, remember, remember it was like half of my stomach. Yeah. You know, it was like lifted up. You could see where it like. Oh. So, but then remember after that, y'all, I looked 12 months pregnant. Yes. You did you know, yes. I looked 12 look months pregnant. Shout out to women who do it in nine months. Y'all, I did it in two years. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Am I going to get canceled Let for that? Let cook. <laughs> Am I gonna get canceled? <laughs> Am I gonna get canceled for that? No. Let him keep no. It. Um. But it was. It was. It got really big. I looked huge. Um. For me, I'm a small guy, so my stomach popping yeah. out like that was like crazy. Yep. It looked unreal. You know what I mean? Like I started to lose weight, and in the middle of it, you don't realize that you're losing weight because your stomach's out to here. So right. it's like, you know. And it was just getting bigger. I it was just getting that. bigger. It was so uncomfortable. So it was uncomfortable. Like even filming, guys. Like you know, I couldn't do certain things. So yep. I would come and I'd be like, "All right, like I'm here. Let's go. Let's get it done." But I was like, "I can't do try not to laugh right now. I can't do anything with a lot of like movement or energy. Like mm -hmm. if I can sit down, like the way that I am now, um, I was good. But other than that, it was rough. You still would go for it. Though. I know. I oh, think hell I. Yeah. I think I always. Like after you got the surgery and everything, I mean, I obviously knew it was very serious this whole time, but I do think there was sometimes where I, I I would almost forget because you would come here and you would work. You get in the zone that it's like, oh, he must be feeling great no. because he's killing it. No, no, it's called turning it on and turning it off. But and I think you do it better than anyone. Well, yeah. I, is... uh, well I mean, I did it with cancer, so I mean, I'm not gonna argue that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're better than all of us. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but no, like you guys just being here supporting me. Like if somebody needed to jump in a video, you guys would do it easily. There was never any issues. Like the support here was great. Um, it was easy to come to work and be like, okay, everybody's like, do what you can and I'm yeah. like if I could do it I would but if I couldn't I'm like all right y'all no. I'm gonna just let somebody else take this one um it was a lot of that for a while and on and off my stomach I got pregnant like I got re-pregnant like I don't know how many times but that stomach just kept coming back so wait did you name your little well, sorry, sorry, baby? sorry sorry yeah. sorry pause 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 okay. we just swapped out Keith's chair because Keith's chair was loud. <laughs> it's me I move so much I have so much energy so how it wasn't feel, the chair how do you feel in that new chair I feel great. Look, can you hear it? No, man. You see what I'm saying? No, I cannot hear it. So, uh, so okay. You say that you're pregnant. You had a little tumor baby, mm -hmm. a big tumor baby, mm -hmm. um, big, a big, big tumor baby. Mm -hmm. um, what did you C name? C-section. Oh Jesus! Oh my oh, God! Poor baby. Fuck. That's so hard oh, for oh. women. I hear C-section, cancer um, section. Yeah, uh, right. Damn. Definitely had it during the cancer season horoscope. All that. Yeah, the zodiac Ooh, was really? cancer. July thirteenth. Wait, cancer season. Oh my God! Is it <gasps> over yet? It is over now. Is it? As, yeah. of, as of this podcast coming oh my out. And it's over now. See, look what God it's did. God knew, God knew what he was doing when he... Mm. When he gave you cancer. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> did you name your little baby? I didn't name it, but one of my homeboys did. Tell me. Amelie. Amelie? Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that was not the name wait, I was he expecting. Named it the Amelie. short haircut French girl? He named it Amelie. I don't know her, but I know this and Amelie. And you were okay with Amelie. Hell yeah. Wait, That's not Emily. It's let, Amelie. Let me tell you, Amelie, the whole point of Amelie is she <laughs> is seeking love and she goes to a photo booth and takes photos of her and a guy finds it and they... They go through France to find each other. And at the end of the day, she realized she doesn't want to be alone. And they get together and they, they love each other. She's a really short, cute haircut. Well, that makes she's sense. She's a tumor. <laughs> the whole that makes time. Sense. Amelie found me. So your, uh, your, your tumor had a little, short, little, cute, little haircut. It was cute. I showed you. Did I you show you? You did show me the photo. It was as big of as Amelie? A, as, of Amelie. Amelie was a big <laughs> okay. I, I would, I would say bitch. we could show it. <laughs> I, I worry about us getting demonetized. Monetized of showing it, but we could maybe if you I mean, if, if you're you okay can. if you're okay with us. I mean, it. why not? I want to see it. It, right. it was as big as a football. All right, so uh, trigger warning: uh, five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Here, is if we Amelie. have the photo, <laughs> is Amelie. If we can't find the photo, it then just, we'll just show a photo of Amelie. It doesn't cut to, uh, to the photo. It's just Amelie shaped like Hey Arnold's football. Yeah, she's just like. So it's basically hair on with the Amelie haircut in French. But for French. those French. listening, French. or if we couldn't show it, uh, yeah, you showed me this photo, and to me, it looked like uh, set dressing on some sort of sci-fi movie, <laughs> wait, uh, wait, or like a zombie dressing? film, just because it was like 
<laughs> just a, it, it wasn't one cohesive thing. Mm-hmm. It was like a bunch of stuff. Because then it also was awesome. a bunch so, of stuff. She's so, a lot of different things. So this is the thing. So I went to my first doctor's appointment um, post-op, and they said that 90% of the tumor was tissue at this point. So... Yeah, it was just sitting inside of me Ooh. because of the chemo, the chemotherapy pills that I've been taking for so long. Like it was killing it, but it just it doesn't just evaporate, like you no, know, disappear. No, it turns into tissue and yeah, connects. Yeah, exactly. With you. But ten percent of it was actually still like alive. I'm like, so motherfuckers are just living. You know, it was really hard to process, but mm. that's why they had to take my spleen because the part that was, was alive was mm-hmm. in your. Oh, yeah. like Keith. It is me, Amelie. <laughs> Amelie has I a lighter right, voice. I am right. <laughs> hey, Keith. Yeah. I am right here. She talks like this. <laughs> she talks like this. She talks like this. Oh. We, we, Keith. Uh, she should wash. What the dog? What Guys, the? you know, t- Amelie did not talk like that. What? <laughs> Amelie was like, bitch, wake yeah. up, motherfucker. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> it's me, Amelie. You see what I'm saying? I'm here sitting on your spleen. Uh, I'm gonna need you to give me a spleen, all smoking right? Smoking a cigarette. What did Amelie sound like to you? Like that. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. Yes. All right, here we go. Like that. You sound like Sylvester Stallone and like Jean-Claude whatever. Mm. And... Jean-Claude Van Damme. Well, he is French. See, look. Well, see, look. God. French. That's it. I have no other. See, God is just working up and all through up in this podcast. Yeah, and it's all about France. (laughs) (laughs) I can't. You know what's crazy though? Amelie is a very long movie. It so is, that and this is, was a very long process. I've never, this is the thing, I when he named it Amelie, I'm going to be straight up, I just thought it was just a cool ass name. I'm surprised you didn't think of a name before that, that you named it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no. I was like, no, because I asked him. I was like, yo, like, we got, I got to name it. And he was like, Amelie. I was like, perfect. Hell oh, yeah. so you have to watch Amelie then. You're going to be like, oh my God. What? It's such an incredible movie. Really? Though. Oh, it it's an amazing movie. movie. Yeah. It's a funny amazing movie. piece but, of cinema. Funny, sad, mm-hmm. loving, romantic. Oh my all God, it's things. my life. Fun thing about Keith, though, Keith, you don't watch movies hardly ever. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, I do. Okay, okay. I, I watch movies. What did you watch? Did you watch a movie while you were in the hospital? In Norbit. 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 Norbit's, oh yeah. Okay. You love Norbit's Norbit. the only movie Keith has no, seen. I'm just playing. I did. I did not watch Norbit. Right before. So right before. <laughs> <laughs> so right before I've been getting better right before I went to the movies and I seen um, The Blackening oh okay the yeah, what? The, the Blackening The Blackening oh, so, oh yeah, god I went I to go see, see that, that with my parents it was fun I enjoyed it I really okay. did it, it, it was I, fun I, yeah it, no it was fun I saw okay. myself up there you know what okay. I mean which yeah, was like yeah. cool you know um, yeah I've been trying to get better with it but I yeah for I, the most part though like you, there's a most a lot of movies you have not seen yeah I just watched like you've never Files. watched you've never watched Star <gasps> Wars you've never watched Lord of the Rings no you've never watched Back to the Future yes I have you've seen Back to the Future yes a long time time ago so okay. i just remember the, the nice delorean or whatever car he had um yeah i remember that and the crazy hair i no i went on a ride at disney you did not so you have not it. seen it you've <laughs> just went, been on the ride i've just been on the ride i thought i'd seen it but I, nah it was just a You're ride like i was in that car and i was strapping in and the woman who put me in was named amy and she worked <laughs> there oh shit i didn't uh, see yeah, it i didn't I, see it i did a video recently where i guessed i would see someone's top 3 movies and i would guess who it who it was mm-hmm. and oh, yeah. it was out of everyone here i realized i didn't have your submissions but I would have known yours. <laughs> Norbit. Because your top three would be Norbit, Black Panther, and <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is it I, Black Panther? Uh, it's a great uh, movie. Those are the only, that's the other movie that he, I know he saw. No, that's just the only one I know I've watched. <laughs> it's, it's not top three movies. It's the three movies like, you've actually this seen. This is what you guys have to understand. I like. Oh, so The Blackening, because that's the other movie I can watch something bad. I will watch, like, I watch movies. Like, people make me watch movies. They make you. White they chicks? don't choose. What, you, ever. Oh my god! I just white wa- chicks? I just watched one white of my chicks. favorite movies <laughs> I just, ever. No, I just watched White Chicks. The like Wayne two Brothers weeks. are the shit. Oh my god! It's so quotable. I don't know. I'm a big. I'm a white- bust. Bust into tears. <laughs> white chicks is the it's best. Great. Can we actually watch it together? I'll, yes. But you have to be okay with me speaking through the whole what? movie. It's fine because I speak through that whole movie because really? I've seen it so many times. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, See, I've watched a lot of the the same stuff that I watched as a kid is the stuff that I watch now. Like yeah, that's I like great. to quote. Comfort. 
You know, mm-hmm. I'm I'm like a comfort movie, a comfort food. Comfort you know? food. Wow. That's great. Maybe not comfort right. food anymore. Yeah. Uh, so sorry. Whoa. <laughs> no, it's that my, wasn't a burn. I just meant no, it. It's fine. My mom's been making half stomach jokes too, so I'm used to it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, great. <laughs> Truly, I'm telling you, she said something the other day I don't even want to say. Your family is brutal. Oh, You're, my God. I, you tell stories about the shit your family says to oh each other. Oh, my God. It's serious. It's serious. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, some of it could be hurtful, but, like, we know what we we know what's going on. So, like, I'm not going to include everybody into that. Yeah. But we go there, and it's you, fun. You go. You have to. Mm-hmm. I mean, you have to make these types of jokes. Mm-hmm. Oh, you oh, have yeah. to. Yeah. I mean, it's either that or cry, which I still do. I have my moments. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's important to cry, but I also think it's important to like have some fun with it. It's just like, who would have ever thought in a million years I know. my little butt would be like, yo, we going to get a big dick, I mean a big football <laughs> in your stomach. Named Amelie. Uh, named Amelie. It's just going to sit there for two years as far as we know. It's just going to sit there and it's going to sit there and it's just going to sit there do until you, it's out. Like, do you miss it at all? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> that made me snot. Do you miss real, it? real That question. made me snot. I need tissue Can because we get tissue? it's oh, it, yeah because like what, do I miss it? No. Yes, Amelie is a person. Oh my god, no. She was an alien tumor baby <laughs> that needed to be removed. Um you got some Keith. Yeah, I got I got some booger. Keith removed a tumor, now he's removing another tumor <laughs> from his nose. <laughs> oh my god, this is so it's gross. Still, you shouldn't have made me snot. I'm sorry, oh but god. it was but I I genuinely you wanted see, to know. almost. Um oh, you still there? It's right. Oh, it's it's the- oh god that looks like oh, oh keep that that Guys, was great congratulations to keith he just got rid of his booger oh my god so like we are two for two i love just it getting it out of here keith for those just are- getting rid of things oh my I god love it. keith is marie condoing his body right now <laughs> do i love it no do i love it no, no. Oh my amelie god. it's like do i love it <laughs> No, <laughs> she's like, bitch. <laughs> okay, so so to answer that question, no, you don't miss it. No, ever. no. Well, okay, I will say this, though. So I have a big zipper. My friends call it a zipper, which is like where they cut me open. Mm. Sure. Like, I, I haven't shown you guys yet. Um, but it's, it's a lot. It's going to be a big scar. And I understand why people don't get surgery. Mm. I truly understand why people don't yeah, do it yeah. because it's so invasive. It really is. And it hurts and it takes time. Like right now I feel fine, but like who knows later on in the day I might get to a point where it's like a little bit more difficult for me to walk and I have to stretch it out or yeah. like I can't pick up stuff, which I don't like picking up stuff anyway. But like you have to understand like not being able to do that. <laughs> and you probably have to oil it. Mm-mm, I'm not. It's crusty. Look, I'll just show you guys. Show me. Look. Oh, that's oh, not bad. That's but great. it goes all the way down to my... D- to the tip of your penis. No, penis? to the tip of my penis. <laughs> okay, that would not be no, no, it does not. Wait, does why not. aren't you like doing bio oil or anything? Ever heard of bio They didn't oil? tell me. They said don't worry about doing anything. Okay. So I'm just, it doesn't really look that bad. No, it looks great. Like mm-hmm. bio oil just... Because I have a ton of scars. It just helps. Why do you like, have so many scars? Uh, you don't know where I've I had a lot of surgeries, baby. <laughs> oh my God, really? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Yes, I have. Oh my God! You had and cancer too. And I've, I've used no, no, uh, no cancer. Okay, we'll say no the story. Cancer. No, Amelie. No. <laughs> but bio oil is very good for scars, just mm-hmm. because it softens them. So you know how they're all like tight. Yeah, you yeah. You actually have to massage the scars. Oh wow! With bio oil, and then they they get. It's weird that they didn't tell you to do this. No. So don't take my advice. Okay, I'm gonna but, ask them. I have a doctor's like, appointment tomorrow, actually. Okay, with with the scars, they all th- that will go away. That like kind of rippled. Feeling. Oh yeah! So yeah, you massage it with bio oil. And do you think it might away. be a little too early for me to do that right now? Probably. Though? I think it's too early for probably. me. Probably. Like y'all, I'm like you probably two need weeks time. out from As surgery. As of recording this, it like just happened. It really just yeah, happened. Yeah, don't take don't take my advice. Y'all, I just had surgery like a little bit more than two weeks ago. Yeah. That's really intense. I'm like, doing, how are you here? I'm thriving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing thriving. great. Hopefully, I'm doing great. Hopefully, as of people watching this, like, you're now sprinting, jumping mm-hmm. on buildings, Just ran picking a marathon, stuff up. parkour. Picking stuff up, which he doesn't yeah, want to do. Picking, eating hard, hard foods, uh-huh. hardcore foods. I feel like that's the thing, though, that you were talking about is, like, you want to get back to normalcy, mm-hmm. even though your body's like, no. Yeah, your body will remind you every time. Like, mm-hmm. whether it be me eating food, like I told you before, like, the, the softer foods are my best friends right now. Things that I don't actually like to eat, mm-hmm. but they're not so bad. But, like, it tells me when I eat harder foods or heavier foods, rather, that it's like, oh, no, 
nope, uh-huh. mm-hmm. you need to go throw up. Yeah. You know? Oh, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In these past couple of years with dealing with this, what obviously, like, it's a very serious thing. There's a lot of pain, a lot of all this, but... I imagine there's also got to be really stupid and funny things that have happened, right? Like, oh, was, there, yeah. was, there, were, was there surprisingly ridiculous things? I, I boo-booed on myself at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Explain yeah. boo-booed. And the doctors were like, that had nothing to do with the tumor. <laughs> dookie, dookie. My body was... So you really were pregnant. Because <laughs> <laughs> pregnant women, when you they give birth, they shit before. on themselves. You were doing okay. that before the tumor. Well, I, did, I didn't need you to bring that up. <laughs> I was, you that's brought it up on Smosh I before. have, but I'm trying to move beyond okay, that. Okay, so. This, this time I did it in my sleep. Usually I do it when I'm awake. That's awesome. You, you see? did it in your sleep. I didn't know. What were I you just, dreaming about? I don't know. Oh, I've been having some Amelie. vivid dreams. <laughs> I've been having some vivid dreams, by the way. But I'm like sitting there. They're waking me up every two hours in the hospital oh. to give me shots, to like make sure my fever's down. I'm sweating a lot. Yeah. Like I'm going through all the motions. Like mm-hmm. anybody that's had surgery like and have stayed for like, I want to say, like a week or any amount of time, like they are on your case. Like they're going to make sure you're good. Um, shout out to everybody. At Keck USC, they're incredible. By the way, like yeah. shout out Hell to yeah. all of them. If you ever get cancer, go there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too much? Because I'm shout no, out, no, shameless no. plug. Hey, Y'all, look, they took care job. of me. But um, I remember waking up at like six. I, uh, mind you, I probably was woken up by my nurse at like maybe four or so. It's like mm. six in the morning, maybe five thirty. I don't know, guys. It was. I truly don't even know where I am. You are at Smosh Mouth with Shane and Amanda. <laughs> we just start, our faces start morphing. You're like, I'm dreaming. And we have a surprise, <laughs> guest. We have a surprise guest for you. Amelie, come on out. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, oh, it's me. I do not want to <laughs> see that little f- That would be... Uh, but I ended up waking up and I'm uncomfortable. You know, they they usually stuff the pillows behind me. Mm-hmm. Like it's my midsection, so everything's connected to it. So trying to sleep is wasn't easy. But I woke up finally, and when I woke up, I remember like I had the IVs off of me at this point, so it's easier for me to maneuver. Yeah. And I ended up getting up, and I went to the bathroom and I wiped my ass. Yeah. As and when one I does. when I when I wiped my ass. <laughs> I was like, why is there shit in my <laughs> on this toilet paper right now? There was already I didn't I wiped it just to like, you know, just to like whatever. I don't even know why I wiped it. So maybe I knew. <laughs> in your dream, you were like, oh, I shit my pants. So I'm like, or no, or was it 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 was either that or I looked at my gown. I looked at the gown and my gown Isn't had Isn't it some, open in the back? I thought it, it was, was open, open in the back so that you But that do was that. the thing. But like it was still kind of con- like. Uh, oh, it was so connected. It was something like that. I don't know, guys. I was under a lot of uh, under a lot of medication at the time. So, But after that, I wiped. I was like, there's a lot of shit. So let me just go check and see what my bed is doing. Well, I went to go just see what the bed was doing. <laughs> and there was just smear dookie. Oh. Oh, on the <laughs> white sheets. <laughs> And I'm telling you, like, I mean, like, y'all, I made a butterfly with my ass. <laughs> you made, <laughs> Duke, yeah. you you made, made a, a snow angel? A snow angel. Yeah, you snow angel? Arts and bed? crafts. Arts and crafts. I should have saved the sheets, but I decided not to. And yeah. I was so embarrassed. You know, like, that happens all the time. It happens all the time. You know it happens all the time, like, at the oh, hospital. Oh, the nurses were probably unfazed. The, I didn't, I got rid of my own yeah, shit. Yeah, you didn't really? want the nurses no, to see. I don't want you to see me like that. I was making jokes with them. We was cool. You're not about to see me shit on myself. I, I guarantee you the nurses Look. probably had to clean up so much shit in that hour. Mm-hmm. Well, she wasn't going to clean up mine. That's right. Wow. That, <laughs> Hold your very grateful. You, just, you feel me? So yes. I got rid of them. They got little boxes and stuff for you. Didn't, little bins. It's embarrassing. Little bins. Mm-hmm. It's embarrassing. You're like, we've been hanging out. I'm a person. Mm-hmm. But sometimes when you're in the hospital and you're on that many yeah. drugs meds, or just yeah. you're there's actually nothing so that, messed up. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Like, yeah. when you're on meds, you say the craziest shit. Mm-hmm. I, it, I it's a, it's a, not a fear, but it's something that I'm like, man, there's a good, there's a chance in my life, like I, either when I get very old that it'll happen, or if I get in some sort of accident or something happens, you know, it's a yeah. realistic possibility. The thought of being in a hospital where they have to, to clean the shit uh, off of your butt, I'm just like, man, 
that would I, I would I, that would suck. I would hate to be in that position because yeah. I am a fan of wiping my own ass, <laughs> and I prefer to do it myself. Yeah, but if I have, someone else I have a bidet. I have if a little someone bidet. else I had to, to do it, never used it, but if someone else had to do it, I'd be like, damn, I I I, I would hate that. Mm-hmm. But I know a lot of people. That's that's you, I, you end up in a situation where that's the only option. Mm-hmm. I literally think every time a woman gives birth, every single time they shit. Uh-huh. Every single time, just for fun. Can you imagine a head's coming out and then there's just shit? <laughs> That's what we all see when we come out. You're saying? <laughs> yeah, you guys come out covered in shit. Just you come out dealing with your mom's oh shit. Oh my god! Speaking of, I have to deal with my mom's shit all the time when Bullshit. she calls me. Oh I don't god. know what's what's bothering me right now. I hate that person. So I'm much. so okay with talking about my shit, but talking about y'all shit is making me very I uncomfortable. Never oh. said, I never said. I never said. Have I shit my pants? Yes, I have. What? But you I, have? Let yeah. me, let's talk about Am it. Am I the only one at this table who has not fully shit my pants? What do you mean fully? You I have not get a... fully shit my pants. What do you mean fully? Yeah, yeah, what do you mean by fully? Let's talk like, about it. Like, there could be, like, like I, I'm talking like oh, a shit. Heath shit. You, did you shart? I don't think I sharted. What? No. Uh, dude. I've not shit my pants where it's like, where You've there's never thrown up and shit at the same time? Hold Please. on. No. I've not done no, that. No, I've been, I've been lucky with that. <laughs> Hold on. When I've had food poisoning, it's been luckily <laughs> one on. at a time. Shane. Well, that's great. Um, Shane just has a really strong butthole. I've talked about. I've talked about Mine's the food. Po- I've talked about the. <laughs> have I talked about the food poisoning that I had on Goldberg's? Yes. Yes. Have I told that story on no. air? Let's hear about you shitting your pants. Oh, I'm like. And then I'll into talk this. about. And then I'll talk about. My I've situation. shit my pants a couple times. Um, <laughs> wow. Pretty cool. Pretty Keith, cool. She's giving stuff. you a run for your money. Now, I've done it more. I've done it at least two hands. Pretty worth. cool stuff. <laughs> you gotta catch up. <laughs> Take notes. <laughs> well, one time, one time was really embarrassing. I was really, really, really sick. Okay. And I was sitting on a couch with my boyfriend, like <laughs> brand new, like we were oh. three, four months in. Tops. Oh my god. Tops. He and I was left you. so <laughs> sick. I would have left you. I would have gone. I would have gone. That shouldn't have worked. He's you or he's a keeper. Yeah, I blackmailed him, so he has to stay. Oh god. Um, so I like I I And remember, it just happened. I was really sick and I was like <laughs> <laughs> and I just shit. Just a little cough. It wasn't oh, yeah, like, I was, I was like, just a little cough. I was like <laughs> and then it was like oh, <laughs> oh. and he was like you literally went. <laughs> oh, and he looked around God. and he was like, up, 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 up. And he took me up and picked up the whole, like, because it was like a really shitty Ikea couch. So he picked up like the weird denim cover that's so ugly. I don't know why I had it. And just put it well, in. Well, that worked out. That's and what put it's it for. in the washer and I was like, <laughs> the I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I'm so ugly. Really oh. And he was like, no, you're not. All good. Everyone shits. Uh-huh. We all shit. Everyone shits on this couch. <laughs> yeah, right okay, now. Like, Look, I'm doing it right now. And he pulls his pants up, shits all everywhere. I remember telling my friends, and they were like, oh, that's so sweet. I was like, guys, oh my come God. on. I just love how light the cough was. I like that it was just like a. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. No. Hold on. Okay. That's why that's. That, you know that scene in the movie? I think it was like horrible bosses or like. For, I forget, but that scene when she's on the bathtub. And she's like, I really don't feel well. And she coughs and sprays shit all out. Do you know that movie? Wait. Do you know that movie? Hold on, that didn't happen. Hall in- Pass! That didn't happen I don't in know Hall Pass. I that did not happen in Norbit. Oh, okay. The other movies. Mm, you don't okay. worry, they you'll watch it. They, it was a bit that they did in one of the jackass movies where they were dressed as old people. Oh, and they would that. cough and they just that's spray just, shit yeah, on a wall. That's just, oh. So that was basically me. Damn. Um, Hold on, can we talk about when you kind of shit it? So, okay. Yeah, you so said I, can talk I about, don't think I shit I don't it. Think I, I don't think I ever have. I can tell you that the closest I've ever been to like a bad situation. This is the worst it's ever been. Okay. So, I, but I, I, it didn't fully, it didn't happen. But it was awful. Lying. So I'm on Goldberg's. This is a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. And we're in the, we're filming. Like we're in, we're, uh, where we would film the studio set was about, an hour drive from my house with traffic, mm. you know, cause it was over in like Culver city area, oh. which anyone who lives in LA knows like to get mm. there is always difficult. You have to drive on the four Oh five, which is the highway from hell. It mm. is always in a traffic jam. Mm-hmm. So anyways, I'm at work. We've been filming all day. We eat uh, food. We get food from sweet green 
is the name of the restaurant. Sweet Greens. Sweet Greens. And uh, <laughs> Sam Lerner. Sweet Greens. He's like, Sam Lerner, I would always copy his food order because he just, he would always pick something really good. Like, he just, and I didn't know this restaurant. So he's like, oh, I'm getting this spinach whatever salad oh. bowl thing. And I'm like, I'll get the spinach salad bowl too. Nope. We're on set. We get back to our trailers, which are hot, you know, and our salad bowls have been sitting in our trailers for a little <gasps> bit. And it's like, all right, let's let's eat. And we're all eating together and we're, we're eating. I'm just like, I'm in my salad bowl. My, hey, Sam, I my, love you. My, He's sp- like, what? Mm, I love this spinach and, and couscous. Uh, and I'm eating it, but... but uh, <laughs> Towards the end of lunch, I already feel like my stomach, there's some something like going yeah. on. And it just kind of feels like when you have like, you're like, okay, this is going to pass, right? This either needs to go down or needs to come up. Oh. But it's kind of stuck in my stomach. But I'm like, fine, I'm, I'm okay, it's fine. Oh. And then I, we go back and we're filming. And we're filming this scene with a bunch of people. I only have a couple lines in it. They, they film us. They get our coverage. Mind you, this is all taking like a couple hours because like filming takes forever. Mm-hmm. Then the camera's now over, not over my shoulder, but it's like, we're now filming the other people oh. in the scene. And so I'm behind camera. I'm behind camera there with the other JTP members, uh, our group. We're sitting there filming. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's just like, oh. where, where all of a sudden you sweat immediately. Oh, we're just, no. just, it's mm. just, just like, just a rainfall oh, down no. my face. And I just suddenly feel so bad oh. I feel so awful and, and I was like whoa and and one of my castmates happens to glance at me he kind of like manages to like look back and he looks at me and he, he double takes and he's just like you need to go oh my god he literally looks at me in the face and goes you need to go and, and I was like what what and, and they're in the middle of filming they're talking and I just kind of back up and just <gasps> walk off set in the middle of the scene and I, I leave and I go past the crafty and I head out of the studio and I I, I speed walk to the the public bathroom <laughs> on this studio lot. And if you think uh, that the Sony Studios bathroom on the on the studio lot is nice, you're wrong. <laughs> it's it's like one that you come across at a rest stop along the oh, highway. What? It's bad. Because think about the people who are using that bathroom. It's 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 tourists. It's no, it's not tourists. <laughs> it's not tourists. Well, it is Jeopardy contestants. Uh, oh, <laughs> they have they filmed Jeopardy and Shark Tank right those there. Those nerds fucking so dumb. So it's the sharks. It's Mark Cuban. It's it's the Jeopardy Shark, contestants. Shark Tank. It's, it, they're they're right stressed there. out. They shit. They're shitting so much. Oh uh, but then it's also it's grips. It's 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 crew members, which grips. are mostly like big sweaty. Crazy dudes, like it is not. It's not pretty in this bathroom. So I go. You know how bathrooms have like four small stalls, and then they have the big stall. The big boy. I go straight for the big boy. I'm like, I'm gonna yeah. need it. I'm gonna need space. <laughs> and I, I blast into this bathroom, and I, and I, I hate shitting in public. What? It's the I best hate feeling it. ever. No, it's not. I love a hotel I, I, I shit. Don't, I don't love it, but I will. <laughs> no, shitting in a public bathroom where there's other people in the bathroom. Not awful. the rest stop. Not not like an airport. No, but you can leave your bathroom. sins and leave them and no. Wash them that's away. No, I want to have the comfort of being completely alone. Yeah. So I go into this bathroom, and I mean, I'm talking. I go in, and it's like this. It's like it's like. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and I, I, my hands, my hands are on the walls, and I, it's it's horrible. I had no and idea I remember, you, were you know how when you hyper focus on something on the bathroom that's like been written, like someone had perfectly scrawled like a Homer Simpson on the on the bathroom stall, <laughs> and I'm just looking Homer in the face, and I am just exploding and I'm like oh, ah! like oh my god I didn't know we were going down this path <laughs> but somehow I get myself together I still feel awful I do uh, not feel good I'm like I'm like the second wave Jesus. is coming and I need to get I need to go back to set I get back to set I haven't thrown up yet though and I'm like that's also coming and uh, I get back to set we luckily are about to wrap we finally wrap I go to my car and I have an hour drive home oh, and Jesus. I'm in my car and I'm in <laughs> my car and I'm just like, it feels this. like mission impossible where I'm You're just like, like, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm just going to make it. I just got to make it. Like, and, and I somehow, I made it home because it was one of those actually awful situations where you're like, I can't, like it won't come up. Yeah. Oh my God. And, but then I was 
bedridden for a day. Yeah. And I'm just like, whatever. Now, food poisoning. Why? Up. Why I am saying mm-hmm. that? That's not the situation where I'm questioning. That's things. that's what we want to hear. Get us. Okay. Yeah. Get us. Hello. Okay. So there was a fun story. Here's the other thing. So my <laughs> shirt says Pikes Peak. I did it a few weeks ago. I hiked Pikes Peak in Colorado with my brothers. It is a 12 mile hike. It took us eight hours. We started at 4:30 in the morning. Fun. We get up <laughs> to, to the top at 1 p.m. Get it. When we get to the top, I uh, like I, I you know my my butt after eight hours of hiking up a mountain, my butt just felt a little Your like, butt's like it's just not great. <gasps> oh my god! I did chafe my ass. I've never done that before. Oh wow! With full disclosure. Were you wearing jeans? I was wearing hike? shorts. <laughs> I was wearing shorts. I don't know. Can you imagine an eight-hour hike happened. in jeans? I've got such a big ass that it just Thanks. happened. <laughs> but look, you know, it just—I just feel like after eight hours of, of rigorous hiking, but there wasn't—I can't. There wasn't anything where I'm like, "Oh, I've shit my pants before." It was just like, ah, it just—it was, you know, it's tough. Your body goes through a lot. Oh my god! So this isn't about shit. This is just about jean chafing. Yeah. It wasn't jeans. <laughs> I cannot. I wasn't wearing jeans. Shame. Shame. Jean shorts. Can you imagine wearing jeans for a twelve-hour, twelve-mile hike? That's a whole work. Day, Has anyone ever wore a, a Canadian tuxedo to a marathon? Because that'd be really funny. <laughs> no, you would not be able to run. You'd die. Oh, well, you can walk. You physically a die. Unless you, you have, have like run. jeggings. Are jeggings done? <laughs> are jeggings we done are with done. Jeggings? We're not. I, we're never doing jeggings I've again, Amanda. Personally, never worn them. Have you ever worn? You know, mm. when you ha- when I have my period, maybe maybe I'll put on some jeggings. We're gonna know, so keep an eye out if Amanda's ever wearing jeggings in a Guys, video. I don't own jeggings. <laughs> like cycle. But you know, like you know, when you get your period, you're like, oh my god, I'm 500 pounds. I can totally relate. <laughs> what the hell? Why am I 500 pounds? This is fun. Let me get my fat suit on, like my, oh my freaking god. jeggings. Stop. <laughs> Okay, I'm serious. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh it's my god. True. Every woman can relate. Oh my you have god. to have a different bra. And I don't own jeggings, but I wish I did. I really I, I'm do. I'm gonna go on Amazon and gift you some jeggings. Oh god, they're gonna be like XXXL. Here you go, boo. I'm gonna um, start. I'm gonna start, wearing, I'm gonna start wearing jeggings in videos. Oh, be really funny. oh god, they'll be so tight. It'll be awful. I think I'll hate it. Your butt is gonna look amazing. I know. Oh I probably god. will. That's why I'm gonna do it. Please Keith is don't. Getting sick. I'm getting sick. And th- can I just say this, Shane? Oh, me and ne- jeggings is what makes you sick. Th- that makes me want to throw up. You, your shit story. But this is the thing, ne- Please, I am. I am here with ears and eyes and like arms wide open. Okay. I like want to hear the story about you shitting one day. One day you okay. have to come I don't with think an he actual. Has. Story. Maybe he needs, but, just like do it one on day purpose. he needs to see. I would love that. No, I would not love we gotta, that. But it's going to happen. Look, I am it's gonna I fully believe that someday I will. But I'm talking I'm talking like fully shitting yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be like, "Oh man." Like Keith. I yeah, don't have to I do that. It has to be it has to happen and you have to go, "I don't have to go to the bathroom." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't you gotta feel that clean urgency. up. You got to do you laundry. You got to do that. But I'm saying you're like, "I am relieved." Mm. Yeah. Wow. But but that you had it, but look, you're in the hospital. <laughs> That's the place if if someone says, "Oh, I shit myself." It's like, "Where were you?" Like the hospital. I'm like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, okay." Mm. That's where that happens. I should have saved that canvas type sheet of yeah. No, I like the shroud of Turin. You no. Actually... <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I should have saved. Oh my it. god, it's the Mother Mary. It's gonna be worth. A, it's gonna be worth a lot one day, right? It probably already yeah, is worth a lot. Yeah. There's got to be a fan. And I will say, I don't remember it stinking. Probably right. It probably smelled like medication. Yeah. <laughs> Serious. It smells like ibuprofen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, yeah. So wait, how how much were you stuck in the hospital? So I was in the hospital for seven days. Seven whole days. So I went days. on a Thursday, came out on a Thursday. What what, what was the funniest shit that you saw there? The Minus shit. your shit. The shit, the shit. besides your shit. The, I guess the yeah, the shit, shit was the funniest thing. Um. I don't know. What was the funniest thing that I've seen? Are you laughing at all? Because I would imagine a hospital is just, it's Did such, laugh? it's probably got to be such highs and lows. There was, right? so I, I can, like, let me, let me, let me try to get there. So the shit was definitely probably like, it was a high as in it was funny. Yeah. Um, but like, it was low because I was embarrassed about it. Sure. But I will say the first two days, three days, I kind of said this in the beginning, the first three days were really rough for me. I did not, like, when I tell you I felt so bad, as soon as I got out of, oh, I got it. Okay. Okay, we so, were here. 
I'm making jokes before I even get into surgery. Of course. And I'm just like, you know, like I'm making jokes to everybody. We're like laughing, this, that, and the other. I didn't want my mom and my dad to come up with me. You know, I wanted to just have yes. this moment to myself. Definitely. Because mom was telling me to repent. <laughs> she was telling me to repent I'm for sorry. any sins. <laughs> what? No, she was telling me to repent for any sins that I've knowingly made or oh, unknowingly made. Oh, so you don't made. die during surgery. So, boom. So, Wait, like, is that like I, a concern? Yes. She, my mom is a devout Christian. No, 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 no. I devout. mean, I mean, what were the hot? What were the doctors telling you? Like, oh, we were about to. They were just no, like, we about to do this. No, and my mom no, is. He no. was probably doing it in your mind. No, 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 no. Oh. So I'm making jokes with the like the nurses, the doctors. I'm meeting the whole team. I left my mom and my dad downstairs because I didn't want that energy to come with no. me. But it traveled through my phone because she texted me and she said, "Hey, I need you to <laughs> repent for any that. sin, knowingly and unknowingly." And I'm like, "Man, I'm over here telling jokes. Like, I'm not thinking about dying." I mean, I kind of like agree with her in a weird yeah, way. Yeah, but it's it just wasn't the time and no. it just also put in my mind, "Okay, yeah, yeah, I you could might die. die. So right. after that, I'm like, I told the, the nurse who was Scary. helping me at the time, and I'm like, yo, like, this is what my mom just told me. He said, <laughs> like, just, like, laughed it off. And I'm like, okay, yeah, like, okay, we're on the same page right now. Yes. So, like, before, they gave me something. I don't know what it was, oh, but they gave me something. Was it to calm you down? It anxiety? was to calm me down. This is when they were willing me off. It was a bong. I, <laughs> they I, were, you want to hit this, dude? Yo, they were willing me off. I'm and pretty before sure I know what they gave you. It's really? like a little, it's like, it's like an anxiety. Anxiety, like chill. It's a cocktail. They call it a cocktail. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I don't remember, but it sounds about it's a right. Big cocktail. Because I remember them willing me out, and I'm like, "This, all right, y'all. <laughs> like, y'all, right, y'all. We going down there. Like, let's go. Let's get this shit. Yeah. Like, really playing it up at this point. Because at this point, everybody's like, "Oh, he's cool. Like, we can play with him. Like, yeah. they were saying jokes too. Like, it was great. Yeah. So I ended up going under. The the surgery was about like six hours or so. It was supposed to be. <gasps> Did seven. you have booties on? Booties. I got a booty. No, like booties on your legs so your legs don't fall asleep. I don't know. Oh. I was asleep. <laughs> I bet you had booties on. They basically massage your legs so your legs don't oh, fall asleep. They gave like me that. Get... They gave me that after surgery. They gave me Got that it. after surgery. Oh, you've had a lot of surgeries. I'm like, I don't know. Booties. My booties wow. right here. Booty. But okay, so I ended up getting out of surgery. They're like, all right, Keith, they're out. And I don't remember this, but they told my mom that I woke up still like, all right. So. <laughs> 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 all right, so I just had to finish it out. Yeah, but then after that, like, I don't remember. Y'all, it's so much, like, so everything's a blur. I remember certain things. I don't remember coming out doing this still. <laughs> That's the energy I had. But I rem the, the first thing that I do remember after surgery is my mom and my dad coming up. And they're like, your mom and dad's are, they're here right now. And I was so nauseous, y'all. And I hate mm. to be nauseous. I don't like oh, being yeah. in pain. Same. Nausea is like the worst. And they don't let you leave until you go to the bathroom. Exactly. Get up and walk. Like, and I had to pee. I had to pee sitting mm. down. Couldn't. For some reason, it just wasn't coming out. Mm -hmm. So I had to stand. Mm. And But like, I don't know. I seen some doctors and nurses come in at that point. And now it's time to tell some more jokes. And before I know it, they're like telling me some straight, you know, some serious stuff. They're like, okay, this, that, and the other went well, blah, 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 this, that, and the like, other. I'm like, all right, y'all, stay black. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's black in sight. I Nobody's love it. black in sight. But, I love yeah. it. And they're like, all right, man. Yeah, they're yeah. like, we will stay black. Don't say that. <laughs> I won't. Okay. See you I'm later. Sorry. Nope, we will Peace not do that. Your insurance cleared. Okay. Uh, that's all that matters. Damn. <laughs> mm. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. I feel, mm. I feel like. When you get out of surgery, that's the worst part is that they're like, tell you, they're like, okay, we can't release you or we can't give you to your mom or whoever's picking you up until you go to the bathroom by yourself, mm -hmm. like walk there by yourself. Mm -hmm. And you're, you have those socks that have the grips on them. Oh, yeah. And you're just like, <sighs> and the bathroom yeah. looks like Pike's Peak, probably. It's oh, just like yeah. miles and miles, mm. and you're so nauseous. I didn't go to the bathroom, like the oh. actual restroom, for oh. three days. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, because I couldn't shit, guys. Like, I was what about constipated. Pee? pee? Oh, yeah. Like, they oh, gave yeah. me a little bottle. Oh, got it. Like, you know how you pull over. You know. I wish I had a penis to put it in a but every, bottle. Yeah, but every time you walked out of that bathroom, they're like, did you shit, man? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like uh, yeah. They're like, we know you didn't. So, but at first, I was just <laughs> I like know. having to pee. I just would get. Get up, stand up, and then, you know, like, pee. But, but like, I, I want to say maybe my fourth day, I find, or third day, I finally went to the, the restroom, 
it really it was it was rough because my stomach hurt so bad and it, imagine going from 24 hour care to then having your mom who's not a nurse take care of you <laughs> now shout out to mom dukes like you are incredible i love you but she's no nurse you know what i mean sure. she's just Did not you tell it. her that you repented for your sins no we just kept it moving look i've been in and out like we're not talking about that shit good <laughs> shit good anyway again sorry i can't <laughs> help it damn it yeah but i didn't i didn't use it for like a few days until like i ended up taking some stool softener and took it and then after that it took a couple days to even work because the shit was hard can we not talk about shit anymore yeah, yeah we think... can move on mm. uh can we can we <laughs> i want to know how your i want to know how your mom like was not a nurse like what's a couple things that she did that you were like you are not a nurse um I, I, the, the thing is, she's not checking on me every two hours. Like, <laughs> what I don't is even she doing? Her. She's just she she's, she's just hanging. She's she's there. She's in the room with me. She she's I gave her my room, but it's not as consistent as it was at the hospital. She was in the lobby watching Doctor Phil. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Awful. Oh my God! No, my mom loves Doctor Pimple Popper. <gasps> okay, I can there you go. Not with yeah, that. Yeah, she show. loves that. No, she's watching I, that. that's no. not for me. Brennan knows. She made Brennan and everybody yeah. else that came over watch Doctor Pimple. Popper. Popper. I can not. There's someone we work with who I th has gone to her. Who? I'm not going to say. Oh my God. They, oh my no, God. We'll have them on and they'll yeah. talk about it. Did I think we talked about that. Yeah, yeah we talked about that. I just don't remember because I was... What, speaking <laughs> of, though, I feel like whenever I have been in a hospital or anywhere near a hospital, that's the the trashiest shit TV yeah. that I ever end up watching. Oh, dude. I straight up watched Forensic... Pop if you ever, <laughs> ever go on a trip Go to a hotel, any hotel in America. Forensic Files forensic, is there. For, they have their own channel where you know. all they play is Forensic Files. I kid you not. I watch it a lot. And it's funny because I was texting Courtney. Courtney had texted me. And she was like, I hope you find Forensic Files. That next day, I found Forensic Files. <laughs> you found Forensic Files. It was there. And See, I'm like... No, go on. No, no, that was it. I just found Forensic Files, and that like that's comfort for me. I will watch. I've seen all the episodes. They even tried to do Forensic Files too. It sucks because the dude with the sexy voice, his voice is good. It's just. I so, so. am with you one hundred percent. I love Forensic Files. Really? Yes. Can or Dateline. Oh my god. Dateline has their own channel. I was just watching Dateline with Dateline my mama has last its own night. Channel? Yes, it's serious. And their own podcast, but you know what the podcast is? It's just the show. Put into audio format. So uh, they'll literally be like, and here is you see the car. And you're like, I can't see it because it's a podcast. My mom is also big into that shit. But it's, it's so why good. she thinks I'm always going to get murdered wherever uh, I go. I always think I'm going to get She's murdered. She's terrified of everything. And I'm oh like, God. okay, that's because you're watching Jesus. people get murdered. I'll or say. maybe when she... You know, when it see, happens, that's not I my know. that's not <laughs> Dateline and Forensic. I'm the opposite of you guys. That's not the trash TV I would end up watching. What would I be? well, what? well, what I end up being forced to watch when I go to the hospital or whenever I'm in some sort of situation like that, it's always Dr. Phil, one of the judges, <gasps> or Judge uh, Judy? like Maury Povich. It's that type of stuff that they play in lobbies. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, people are here with serious health conditions. Mm -hmm. And you're forcing them to watch Dr. Phil. Because it's a train wreck. Everybody loves to watch a train wreck. They you feel watch better You feel about better about themselves. yourself. Mm -hmm. See, Every I, time. No, but when I'm in a, if I'm in a hotel room, what I search for is Family Feud. Oh, oh, absolutely. Dude, nah. Family Feud, absolutely. number one. No? Nah. Family Feud is the best you don't it's like show. It, it, it's too cringe for me. Like, oh, I, oh, no. I get, get like, out. I'm like, Ugh. I was going to invite you over to watch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, White that, chicks? No, not anymore, because you don't like Family Feud. Bitch. You Fine. don't like Family Feud. Listen, I didn't say I don't. It's just not my cringe. vibe. Like, it's like so Wheel good. of Fortune, it Family is. Feud. I'm like, Ugh. Don't compare Family Feud to Wheel of <laughs> That's Fortune. That's different. That's so Do different. Do not compare those two. Why? Because Pat Sajak Family is Feud not is... Steve Harvey? <laughs> Family Feud is so different. Why By then... the way, Pat Sajak is like ready. To, he's like, he's, he's ready done to go. because mm -hmm. he's getting mean. No. Oh, really? yeah. Yeah, he's been getting mean. He's like, she's like, I just can't wait. To... He's like, great. Let's go. Let's oh, shut the no. up and spin the wheel. <laughs> Who do you guys think would be a good like host for that show now that he's for Wheel going? of Fortune? Yeah, uh, Steve Harvey. No, <laughs> I mean shout out he, to Steve. That's why I got this mustache. He has a beautiful mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Big teeth, beautiful mouth. Oh Dude, my god, Steve Harvey is the best uh, game show host he's of all good. time. Amazing I, I, for that type of show. Obviously, like you have like Alex Trebek was perfect for Jeopardy, <gasps> but Steve Harvey is I. 
for some reason, don't get tired of the same joke mm-hmm. every time. Which I tweeted <laughs> yeah. this joke where he it'll, <laughs> he'll ask a question that's like, of course they're gonna answer something crazy. It'll yeah. be like be like, name something you do with your penis every day, and it's like, uh, masturbate, Steve, and he'll be like. <laughs> and he's just like, well, I can't believe best, you said that. He has the best facial expression. It's so yes. funny. Do people say insane shit on Family this Feud? This is why I get cringed. I don't love like cringe. I'm like, Ugh, oh my god, you can't take that back. Hold on. Do you know Steve Harvey has like a judge show? He's like, yeah, judge. judge Steve. Stop. I have not watched Stop. it. I want to. What? Yes. Where it's okay, he's, he's, he's obviously not a real judge, but he allows <laughs> people to come in. You know, you have your plaintiff, you have the other motherfuckers. <gasps> And they come in and they're like, he awards the money. He does. Like, I'm serious. Like, <laughs> I people. Don't care how this no, is show. It, it, it's an actual show. And I've been watching it with my mom. I've been watching a lot of trash TV. Hell yeah. With but your mom. With my mom. And it's so crazy because he's like, you know what? I'm going to give you $1,500 for your pain and suffering. <laughs> I am so serious. I'm not playing. I am what? not joking you. I'm not. But he's not a real judge. No. Are these people it's, real plaintiffs? And it's like, gotta be, uh, to some degree. To is some there degree. a jury? No. no. It's just like no. people just hanging out. Yeah. What, are the, what, are the, what do they come in with? I mean, some people have come in. Like, what What was one of the stories? <laughs> she to tried think. to kill me. It's like, yeah, I tried I to kill you. I award you $1,500 for your honesty. Uh, yeah. I feel like one of the guys, one of... One okay. One of the uh, was this couple. This lady, she had bought her her boyfriend, who she has a son with or a kid with. She bought him a game, but she was upset that he wasn't <laughs> spending time with her. <laughs> what? Like, I'm so serious. He's, I bought him Diablo Four, and he will not. But hang she out wanted with me. to play games with him, but like he Aww. will always play it with his his work best friend. So, so these are not okay. actual. <laughs> he loves his work best friend. That, there's That's there's deeper so, so things. Funny. So, so that that's what Steve was trying to get to. He was like, Steve's so like, like, if y'all work together all the time, like, uh, like I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, like, I mean, the whole thing. And she was like, yeah, like, he always wants to be with Jim. And he's oh, just like, well. Please tell me that he, le- he left her for Jim. No, they ended up, like, Jim's actually a really good guy. Jim was like, I really. I Jim was there, too. <laughs> you are too involved. No, I'm into this. You and your mom were like, Jim is a really good guy. Come you woke on, up from surgery and you're like, what happened with Jim? It was great. You're but like, she- stay black. But, but what she, happened with Jim? <laughs> <laughs> but she had a whole list of hours, like times that he would come home from work oh. and play the game, like and not show with what her. What was the game? I don't remember. It would be different games, I believe. Yeah, just, just yeah. She went games. deep. She like journal. Mm-hmm. And Steve probably didn't like that. No. Steve was like, hey. No, Steve. Or Steve, Steve, Steve rewarded Steve her for side that. With? I honestly truly don't remember. I don't want to lie, but like it was weird. It was weird watching so it because I'm like, not, this isn't. These aren't real crimes. These aren't real. No, no, these no, are, no. This is things that couldn't, a lawsuit this actually couldn't come from. Actually. But it's just relationship mm-hmm. issues. I mean, and it's He Steve sounds Harvey. better than Dr. Phil. Mm-hmm. Some people end up crying. They're like, yo, like, I just want my relationship back with my sister. And he's like, that's how they said it. I, I literally feel like I'm watching it. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like, I want to know what happened with Jim. Yes, but hold on. The funny thing is my mom <laughs> cried, too. Oh, that's sweet. No, it's not. I'm like, yes, oh, it is. No, because I'm got, like, she got involved. Because this is the thing. You because after a while, you you're like, okay, this is ridiculous. You watch enough like TV, you're like, okay, they're they're playing, they're playing it up. It's like when people cry at American Idol. You're like, stop. No, that I will cry with you. Uh, yeah, the American Idol no. gets me every. You, you never, are different. You never, I am a You demon. never <laughs> cried watching American Idol. No, How because dare I can't you? stand it. Where it's like, you know, um, I lost my. Parent, and then they're no. like, "Okay, great, sing this song." And then they're like, "Oh, yikes. life is a highway." <laughs> exactly why I just don't like it. Oh my like, god! I can't connect to that. Really? Yes. Oh, Sounds like all you day. just hate really good shit. No. But, you, but how? Family can you... Feud, American Idol in the early years. I feel like it's fake. early years. Let's be early okay. Years, early years, yeah. I did watch it. Like and Kelly did you Carson, cry? Yeah, for sure. Oh, <laughs> you are Listen, so Listen, I'm a full demon now. <laughs> I like Dateline and Forensic Files, uh, and which, maybe this show. The, look, what is you it should called? check it out. It's I don't know. It's Judge Steve. Judge Steve. I Judge think it's Steve. probably called Judge Steve. <laughs> He's Why not. wouldn't it be called that? Is Judge Judy real, though? I think it's real. I think no. it's pseudo real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're okay. they're playing on it. it <laughs> they're definitely. It's definitely played up. It's not like 
legitimate, mm-hmm. legitimate. It's all like guys. Anything we watch on TV, I hate to say it, but it's just all bull. All, don't this trust anything. This is why I don't pride yeah. American Idol anymore. You guys just proved my point. Well, there is well, a real guy. Different. There, it's actual stories though there that is kind of. Pool. No, I think the there is fake. a guy I saw on on TikTok, and he said he, he and his friends used to sue each other for fun so they could end up on on Judge Judy. Really? They would sue each other over stupid small things so that they could go there. And that's the thing: Judge Judy is always going to be not an actual crime; like but, it's, yeah, it's yeah. civil suits. Judge Judy is hilarious. I watched this like I don't know why on my Instagram. There's Judge Judy clips. I don't know why, but there was a Judge Judy <laughs> clip, and this woman came out, and she was, you know how there's like always a reporter outside of the courtroom, and he was like, so what did you think? She's like, I knew it. I knew that th- I couldn't trust this woman. <laughs> I could tell from the oh, moment I saw her, her hair. hair. <laughs> and then the woman comes out, and she goes, and she comes out, and her hair lights <laughs> The wig was all the way back her here. Her hair lights no, you you've not seen it, Shane. I don't think it's like, good. Thank you. Yeah. No, I would wanted to bring this up, and I was like, but if no one knows what I'm talking oh, about, no. her, she was like, I knew it from the moment I saw her hair, yeah. and then the moment the comes clip. out, she's like, oh, the fast she's all clip. Smiley. It was just like, yeah, it's like, no, you wouldn't trust this lady at all. I, 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 like, I no. it starts back here. <laughs> I should have known as soon as do I seen think, her hair. Do you think all the people? <laughs> do you think all the people on Judge Judy and Dr. Phil and all these crazy people saying crazy shit like that know that that that's like. 90% of people in hospitals are watching this right now. <laughs> people and, dealing with cancer are watching and us they're right loving now. it. Be- they're loving it because... But do you think they're aware as they're saying that stuff? No, they're I trying to, they have to know. Judge Judy has to know at this point that, that it's like, this is being streamed straight this to a hospital. This is for cancer survivors. This is literally this, for cancer it, survivors. Because it's hospitals play that shit. I don't know why <laughs> lobbies are playing. Because, because that clip like, was so good. <laughs> I knew it from when I saw this her This is the thing. When I like, I will say, but being in a hospital and watching those shows, I enjoyed it. Like, oh, I yeah. felt like I was. Part of society. Part of society. But like, you know how like you skip school. And yeah. like mm-hmm. you're watching, you get to watch like daytime TV. TV. You get yes, to watch daytime, stuff daytime, daytime TV. Before. Exactly, that's what it felt like. like it this also is how felt other like jail. People live. <laughs> so it <laughs> felt like jail. Jail, jail as well. Like jail. Okay, hospital felt like jail. It felt like school. It felt like a lot of different places. And I, I, I'm glad that I'm not there. Shout out to this yeah. is the thing. Like all jokes aside, shout out to anybody who spends any time, any amount of time in the hospital overnight because it's not anything normal. It doesn't feel the best. You can't move the way that you want to. You are confined. Um, Like, like maybe, like, even an an insane asylum. Like, Mm -hmm. I've never been to one. Maybe I should. But, like, (laughs) I I truly felt like I was in that bitch, you know? I was like, wow, like, I can't move the way I want to. I have somebody coming in checking on me ever so often, you know, like to yeah. give me shots, to make sure just like I'm okay, which I appreciate, but it's also like not the, that's just not how I live. It's not normal you, life. Yeah. yeah, you don't have your own autonomy. Like mm. you, That's why they have those shows, so that you can feel like connected to like, okay, what is, what is it everyone else doing in the world? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know Watching what I mean? This. So you can be like, you can be like, okay, so. I knew I, it from her hair. Uh, <laughs> she comes out. <laughs> I'm dealing with this. I'm That's in the hospital, so but at least I'm not that person. Uh, we I, have to I find have, that. We, send it I'm to gonna him. find that clip okay. and show him. I'll watch it. Let's okay. Go. I yeah no. I mean I I have so much respect for people who are going through that type of yeah. stuff, and I have so much respect for you, Keith, for for oh thank you man. dealing with what you dealt with, thank and you. and honestly continuing to be so funny here while going so through funny. it. Thank I you mean, guys. I'm actually in pain right now. No, I'm just playing. Oh my god! I actually shit myself just now. Oh my. Look, at, uh, look at these butterflies. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you guys though. This I also right before I had surgery, like a week or two. I think I talked to you about it. Um, um, I thought they said that I had another tumor. What? Yeah. You didn't tell me that. I didn't tell you. Oh, no. this is during big. Right before oh, VidCon, I found shit. out that I. No. So I thought that it was another tumor. So I'm like. My whole like world at that point, I'm like, man, this is a. How do you get cancer twice? You know what I mean? In the same like, that's where my mind went. I'm like, damn, this is like a sequel of a movie that I never watched before. Like (laughs) Norbit, you know, like Cancer Two. You know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. the first one was crazy, but the second one is crazier. Yeah. Although they said it's like, okay, you have like a two centimeter one. You know. So the day before, okay, let me go back. So the day before, I got my CAT scan right before surgery. You know, all that. We're getting everything in order. Mm -hmm. They're like. 
Okay, like this is still shrinking since the last CAT scan in January. This one's shrinking. Like it's great. You're doing great. I'm like, awesome. Leave, leave, go home, wake up the next morning. And they're like, okay, so although that one's shrinking, we have we just found another one. And you know, doctors really talk to you as if everything's normal, everything's cool. And yep. I'm on she's like, Yeah, we found another one, but you know, we're gonna da 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 da. Okay, keep cool. it chill. Keep it chill. And I'm thinking like I'm just like staring off outside, like looking out my window on the phone, just like the world is. It's like, okay, so like we'll set up this and that. I'm like, yeah, okay. Before I knew it, guys, my whole face was wet. Just because I just started to cry. Uh, like, genuinely, like, j just, like, didn't even, I didn't think about it. It just came. Because I was like, okay, bye. Yeah, just of like, course. But, cool thing, let's bring it around town like SpongeBob in this hoe. <laughs> um, so, they did the surgery, and something, I don't know what it was, something was covering it. So, the tumor was poking out on the other side. So, Whoa. I did not have two tumors. <gasps> they wouldn't have known until they went inside. It was oh just the same. It was just God. Amelie playing a little It was just Amelie. <laughs> it was Amelie's foot with like a little heel like, on it. Yeah. <laughs> and she was just like, la, 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 la. They were like, bitch. Sorry, I was just kicking my legs up a little. I know. I forget that she has that voice. She has that voice. She's a um, smoker. Holy shit. Well, yeah. Amelie is gone. This was yeah. amazing. Shout out to Amelie. Shout out oh, to Amelie. I hope to never experience Amelie or any. Or Amelie too again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Well, Keith, uh, you, you, you did it. We love you. Yeah. You did it, man. I'm we still doing so it, y'all. Uh, it's still you a process. Still, yeah. Uh, I still have to take meds, you know, going forward, just so that it doesn't come back. And we're gonna keep this fight going. It doesn't stop here. Um, the 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 tumor's gone, but like we have to take certain provisions mm -hmm. and move forward. So it's still a fight, y'all. It's still a fight. We're still doing it. I'm we glad I have you. you guys to support and Hell just yeah. love. Um, yeah, man, it's cool. It's cool. Go get your checkups. Yeah. <laughs> get your Go check get your checkups. Go get your checkups. Yes, please. All right, man. Well, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having me. Yeah. Stay. No, I'm not going to do that. Shut, shut, stay black. <laughs> Hold on. Say it with me, guys. No. No. Okay. Stay, stay black. black. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I'm here. I support just it. Just use that cut. Just use that cut of us. And then we're just like, why did we do that? Oh, we're like, no. yeah. Stay black. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. See you later, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Wow. <laughs>